Welcome back to the Fokian League, ladies and gentlemen. A country that is formerly known as Massalia, named after this great city over here in the metropolis of Massalia, which is the home of the Sanctuary of Hermes, in which we do have a few treasures that's put there. And I even thought about, well, creating another holy site. Which we have to do it for our Lord Memnon. Yes, Memnon, the Hellenic deity of the economy. And we already have it, um, already have its, um, omen. And every time then, uh, we do a, an omen, then we get some money thanks to some of the people that will hand over some of the gold from the, the local temples. Even though we need a holy site. For that just to get more of the national commerce bonus because as of recent xenophon is unnoticeable he's a bit depressed and i like to think that the depression is because he lacked heirs but do not worry he's married to a much younger woman um, who is a fellow xenophon but kinswoman were not directly related if she's righteous, so she can never be corrupt, so she'll never accept the bride. Um, she's also cautious if she were a commander, which, of course, ha doesn't have much skill for that, and we don't allow women to fight in our armies, unfortunately, to some. Um, and she's humble. Although, she's going to make somebody a rival, which is just some minor character with a lot of finesse, I wouldn't worry about that too much. But speaking of worries, um, we will get our legitimacy back up slowly but surely. But a threat of civil war is still real. Um, but the threshold is starting to increase a bit as we're still trying to lower the tyranny as the air around this country is still marred with tyranny ever since my father Gorgibbles. And yes, I am also guilty of causing a little bit of tyranny because we held a trial recently over a certain woman who I will dare not mention her name again because I refuse to give me airs. So I hope my new humble wife, which I have a lot of years ahead of me. I'm only 31 years old. I got plenty of years. <clears throat> I took a drink and... Uh, also, we've been drilling our troops like mad as of recently, only because we are preparing for war, but we're preparing for war against them, the Celto-Iberians, which, if you want to be exact, they're the Car Carpetanians. Carpetanian. That's who they are, exactly. Yeah, as you get to see as we highlighted them, they are a real danger to our goal, to to weaken them and and head to this settlement which we will turn this into a city one day and capturing most of this area and then we would have another port there which I'll probably build a second city there as well I know where our ambition will be going based on the where we're headed for our western journey but our journey cannot continue unless we deal with the internal matters especially from people like him that man cannot be reasoned with because investigated a scandal when we tarnished his honor and this is one of the pretenders and he's also our court or royal tutor in which he's not a married man either, but he's frail. Where is he? Aha! Uh -huh. Only one of your friends, and you are a friend your to yourself. Oh, you self-loving man, arbitrary and greedy. Yes, that man. They're in it together. And we know he is dying of cancer, but I fear the civil war will start before the cancer gets to him. 
I mean, does he need to be any more, less loyal? I mean, if you want to stop a civil war, I mean, knowing that... Well, he's from an outraged family, an outraged um, aristocrat. And he's gambling. I mean, revoking holdings just to lower his loyalty. We've done that many times, and I don't think that's going to work. It would be best to um, try to have at least... Um, I mean, the Admiral's one thing. Which we can bribe him. Again, part of that same blasted family of his. So if they want a civil war, I would welcome it for once. Because I'll... because... I can defeat them, not just alone, but my Iberians and the Punic. If he wasn't a scholar, but him being an honor guard, well, I mean, we're friends now. We have been, but I need more backup. So in case that army does not defect to the potential rebellion. Oh, so I probably want to befriend him as well. I got money. So let's let's do this. Although we could still bribe him and turn him all around, but what does one corruption hurt? All right, I have been against corruption, but let me befriend him first before we do anything else. Commission sculpture in his honor. Just a small bit of money. For a fellow Punic general. And I have my wife favorite so that I can check up on her every once in a while in case she's finally pregnant and hopefully give me a proper heir instead of Antigonos. And yes, his martial skill is zero, but he's one of the pretenders and I would rather have him see him get killed in action, which would be amusing. It is well known that Kaletzebal, Metalid, has been seeking a particular government office for some time until he now has passed over on justice in favor of the others. With a well placed word and some wrangling, we could achieve both his aims on our own. If I do that, he's not going to like it. But he won't do a damn thing about it. Plus, he's another pretender, so that could be also troublesome. If civil war does break out, then maybe, just maybe, we can get rid of all pretenders. And plus, I'm, I'm married to his daughter, who... yes. Really? Got a child named Memnon? If I was to have a first born son, it was going to be named Memnon, but now I feel that name is becoming overused in these parts. But... That adds up tyranny! This isn't right. Sorry. I don't think we'll be friends by then. You can always try again. But we've been drilling for many months, so we're ready. When civil war and chaos breaks out, we're ready. I'm gonna have to let it happen, unfortunately. We exhausted all the other options, and we go last resort, and that's to bribe one of the pretenders. Here. Okay, we shall try again, because I need him on the side so that he doesn't join the rebels. 
Otherwise he's gonna have another hard fight. Ah, he's come back around. The, um, this whole, um, investigated and tarnished honor thing, it's expired. Oh, continue. And he stands down. Good to see you back on our side. Okay, Civil War's prevented. But, uh, we're kind of far from a possibility of a civil war for now. All I need to do is worry about the researcher and, and then the solo admiral. And then we could finally have our other focus and that is to attack that very large country in central Liberia. do this to me. Don't want any more tyranny. I am not my father. Just for future reference. These claims fabricated over time. Yes, I have a lot of money. T -t Tyranny and loyalty of generals. Okay. The generals are good to me. It's just less tyranny would be ideal. Anything to do it to make it go away faster. Now, don't spend any more money. Unless it's absolutely necessary. If I get more charisma. Oh, no, no. The popularity is what you're looking for. Okay. You're such a cruel man, you are. But nonetheless, we need talented generals like you. So for now, let's just uh, continue to raise the money for a little bit. Before we finally go to war. I mean, the army's in positions. We're not. So, move to position. We Hellenics outnumber the Iberics. That means more omen power. Nice. Actually, there is one thing I must do. This is just for free money, that's one thing. Which you'll do that often. Actually, before I join you, Antigonus, to the front, there's something I must tend to. At least we're going by road. Come on, pick up the pace. Because we need to be there before the war begins, at my behest. No need to take ships, just go down the road. Barely in the supply limit. Okay, that's good. Based on where your positions. Okay, supply limit's good in all these areas. Again, this city, they're mostly happy here. 
living on their prosperous time. And it's a very civilized city. We are the beacon of civilization in the West. But... Oh, this is for Memnon. Destruction of the Sanctuary of Hermes. The Sanctuary of Hermes and Masao has been sacked by our valiant troops. As the Sanctuary is laid to ashes, the soldiers loot the city itself as well as the Temple Treasury. Soon, no one will remember Hermes. Yes, what we just did was a very sacrilegious act. But, they're all satisfied. At least in this city, locally. We we'll barely have enough money to do this. We shall dedicate to Memnon. Sanctuary of Memnon in Massalia. Increases the AT modifiers by 25%. Also increases the building slots, commerce value, and migration attraction of Massalia. Alright, now head to here. There we go, now it increases the commerce and the, more the national freeman happiness. And these treasures, put them back. We replaced the Sanctuary of Hermes and it's all about Memnon, our Lord of Salia. The God of the Economy. The Economy, you fools. Well, nobody questioned about that act that we just pulled. Some would think that would have been for tyranny, but... Uh, that slows down a claim fabrication by a bit. It'll go away by the time. Don't you worry. I'm just going to take our sweet time to stroll down. Well, no child yet is on only 32. If I get desperate, I'm going to find me a lustful woman. If I'm in my mid-40s. No, at least 40. You don't want to have your next heir to be starting off young without some experience. Also, keep drilling. We just need to raise a bit of money first, because you know how expensive war can be. We have the army morale up. There's no need for a navy. And the uh, forts uh, on the defense will be on the offense mostly, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. We're here. Just drill for a little bit longer. We just need to go get some money by any means. While the tyranny will thankfully go away slowly. The great shrine of Apollo. We worship Apollo. Oh, those bastards. Well, that means if we get a lot of money and political influence, we can have... A holy site dedicated to Apollo here. Build that in Empurion as a reminder. We'll remember this crime because we worship Apollo as much as we worship Memnon. If not, we worship Memnon more than Apollo itself. But it's good to see everybody's coming back around now, especially with trying to get less and less tyranny. Hm. 
I wonder what befriending her would do any good. But, just need more stability. If there's any law that I'm interested in changing. I mean, the national manpower is at its very best. But we'll acquire a few more land where we'll have just as much manpower, so no need for that. So I'm thinking about nobility admission law for more discipline and monthly military experience even more. Since we've become a largely militarized country as of late. So that's our military reform. So enact nobility admission law. Our soldiers are drawn only from the very best. The sons of our most renowned families strive to protect our nation. Look at that. I don't spend any more political influence unless it's absolutely necessary. Can't send them gold, but... Oh, no. You know that man's got a lot of... Oh, don't worry about it. We don't care about him. So, he'll die of cancer, don't you worry. While we continue to prepare for war and keep drilling the troops so the ex military experience can go up faster and faster. Because what I'm expected to go is this way. You know, get through Phoenician Sailor first and over time go for Companion Cavalry. We're not going to take the Antigonid route. Again, they're nearly ready for war. We're ready. We're just waiting for the right amount of money we accumulate in our war chest. Although we could lower our army maintenance. But I'm waiting for the right opportunity to go get a big pile of money to get what we want. But our troops have more discipline than ever. Then again, the the uh, current balance based on tax and commerce has been a bit hokey pokey a bit, especially with the Ops Maritime. That's what's changing a bit more as far as I can see. Disloyalty inspired. Somebody's making it worse. And still no child yet, which just makes me more and more depressed. It just feels like my pride has been wounded. Petty, but I'll go for it. What can I do? Pass the time. Oh, why not? Let's just do that one more time to maximize our legitimacy. Take a sweet time to research lineage right before we go to war. And plus, you may never know, we'll find a Greek bloodline, which 2% of it is the equivalent of winning a lottery. And yes, we took a big drop on the maximum manpower, which, as I said, I'm not worried about that because we'll be getting more land soon. And building two cities on the far west in the future. And do not forget turning Tartissos into a metropolis. That I still long desired for. Oh, you're going to provoke one of my generals, Ro? Well, don't do that, dear. Oh, and she's got dysentery. If I have the money, I'll help you treat it. Because I hate to lose you to this vile disease that lowers your martial and charisma, which is badly needed. And speaking of diseases, cancer.
everybody's got something for him. Also, by the way, I haven't looked at this in a while throughout this uh, part of the series, this late part of the series, the score. We have way more score now. Oh, yes, the Falcon League. Number one. And Dravida. Yes, the Kingdom of South India has um, more score than Rome. Which we are not bordered with Rome still, which I'm not terribly worried about that. And right before the war, I'll be sure to remember who am I going to ally with. I mean, in theory, we could defeat all of them alone, but it's nice to have a little backup. Unless they have a few good generals amongst themselves. Ugh. Take it. Take it or leave it. Alright, now we got a big pile of gold here. The head of the family, who is Gouty. Skeptical and reckless, that's a bad thing about you. And also, you are very corrupt. With that big amount of power base, you're going to be trouble. <sighs> when the tyranny is all gone, then those disloyal characters will not be a problem anymore. Oh, and, uh... Also, you should seek treatment. He shouldn't spend time, you know, provoking one of our generals who's about to set off to war, which, as I am right now, Okay. Right before we start, we only have three lines of Mauritania, which I'm keeping it, and Valencia, which I'm keeping it. That's for Carthage, for Carthaginian conflicts. Memo, uh, Memovicia, which is a, an old friend of ours, uh, an old Gallic friend. But we need a little more. I mean, I see Zabuzatia. Which is probably the name that's familiar to some of you people. Aristocratic Republic. Only nine cohorts with good manpower. Alright. An alliance will do, but... You may have... That, as you are a local power, not a regional power. Okay, which one of these countries that they're not allied with? Um, he's allied with uh, Tordulia of Adania, which is the real objective that we take. Um, Lusonia and uh, Donaquia. Okay, it's either you or you. Which one of you's got the manpower and the money for this upkeep. I think I chose you because again, right on our borders. Easy access. And do not forget my subject, which are still with me, and I thought about integrating with them soon. Even though we haven't been building cities on this back, because, well, one's in two different provinces. I mean, acquiring a city from Aroscopian would be a good thing. As they've done a lot of good things to it. And a settlement here, well, we'll build a city over there. And knowing where we'll be going soon, in the future, I think that will be Homeroscopion's last war. So now, we need to start improving relations with them a bit. I swear, that's the last time I'm spending that political influence on anything. So, 
get well soon, my dear, because I'm off to war, and if I don't survive this, Antigonus will take over. I even know who he's, um, you know, and whatnot. Oh, and also, let's have a free clean fabric. All Massalia sleeps as the War Council drags well into the night. Assemble three brilliant Fokian minds, some of them provide insight, each determined to convince us of the validity of their argument. Eumenes, a well loved comedy leader. Morganus, a down to earth respected advisor. And Karinos, a, uh, an advisor of uncertain standing. Despite significant discourse, ale, an argument, no consensus has been made on the target of future expedition plans. Eumenes believes, apparently, on the uh, Vokatanian province of uh, Vokatia. Oh, I know where that is. It should be rightfully under Fokian rule. Marganus and Grandes and Carinus, however, wish to focus on Carthage or Hosania with Martania. Ooh. But I'm more interested in, in them because they were our allies long ago. And they are part of the Transalpine Gold region. And having more resources, and they do have a city there, so that'll do good. That's very fertile land, so. Eumenes has the truth of it. We must prepare for war. So, sorry about that. Hope you will understand one day. But that's not our real target. Our target is then. But of course, uh, we can wait a month. Because the diplomats are still waiting. So just wait one month. We're all ready for war. I mean, look at our cohorts of the bonuses. We have 20 plus siege ability, twice plus 25 more discipline. And our heavy infantry are the most effective for discipline, offensive, maintenance, and morale. Thanks to the surplus of iron and Sarissa. Our heavy infantry will be fighting the very best that they have to offer. Again, I kind of want to trim your army down a bit, and I want it to be added to mine. But then again, we're going to an area where supply is going to be an issue. Except for areas that has more fertile land. And knowing who we're up against, go for phalanx. You would just go for shock action. You just go on a suicide attack. Uh, phalanx as well. And as for you, this is skirmishing. Just want to look at it one more time since I'm not really concerned about the research. what we may or may not have in the future. Monthly corruption down in general, that's what we need. Knowing that I've always been against corruption, but now it's starting to think I don't think corruption hurts even by a bit. Right. Let's begin. Months passed. Mauritania can join, but they don't have a coast to go with, so we ignore them. The goals will help us out. And those two new friends that we've made. The objective is Celta Iberia Maderalis. Which is over there. That's the objective to take. And what do they have to offer? Lots of food, cloth, and glass. That is very good land that we should hold, even though there is no cities. But that's good land, even though we never wanted to enter into the heart of Iberia. But remember, the real objective, take Opadania. 
we'll take this province and that province and unite the rest of the coast and that's it those are your main objectives let's do it finally it's about that damn time that we have a good war no need for that and yes uh, we'll slightly lose the money now that we've up the fort maintenance as we will begin our advance. But remember, there's a lot of them out there. So, I don't know about the other two armies on, on the side. And knowing that they will be coming down on us soon, so... I mean, the easiest thing in the world would just be send one army and take out Opadania first. Since they got a good number of troops themselves. I mean, I wanted, I mean, I had an idea of potentially allying them, but I don't want them taking these areas that we have claims on. Especially Olesipa. Remember that main objective. So we just have to make our way up first to get to Saltesia Manoris region. And potentially just get all of them, knock them out of the war. Even if we have to, you know, get rid of this province um, once we acquired all of it. Remember, the uh, zone of control, uh, it'll only take this. Head to, uh, Valeria. The zone of control will be taking this, this, this. So head to uh, Pont uh, Rugia. Rugia. How do you say that? And you're going to have supply issues, so if there's going to be any little thing I'll spin, we'll provide you with a supply train if we can get you. And on this front, zone of control will only get. Cordova and uh, Baro. So head to this fort and we can get this fort and, and these two more forts. And, and then we'll finally unite the coastal regions. And as for you, well, just gonna be heading up there. Need to bring down those forts first. While this area will fall, as we did not have sufficient time to build up fort there. Especially that Barduli is a little good for nothing little country, which would be a good one if we made him a tributary. But again, we're against mainly archers, chariots, some light cavalry, and light infantry. We have the superior quality of troops as they are outclassed since they are a migratory tribe. Oh, but then it will put up a fight. Tordulia is just a settled tribe. This one's also democratic, but like slightly more technologically advanced. And settled tribe, a bit more advanced. So. This middle power is going to be outclassed by our troops when we face them in a battle. And I'm sure to Antigonus thinking that's going to be an easy day for him. But if you fall, I shall avenge you, one way or another. In actuality, we want to get him killed. <laughs> Again, get well my <gasps> pregnant. And she'll be due at around October. Oh, praise Memnon. To war. You bastards! We've been attacked from behind! They know they can't get to them. They want Mauritania. They want this small part. In fact, they want to usurp all of it. We'll lose our ally. 
this isn't what I foresaw. I mean, we can defeat them in battle. They could potentially hire mercenaries. Well, you native Sardinians, you better start terrorizing the region as a way of retaliating. What? We cannot get to you. We're already committed to this war. But if, we, if you can fight your way all the way to Obdania and, and knock them out of the war, then... Then we'll bring these two armies down to the southern front to retake our positions, knowing that we will soon lose all of them. But we did not build fortifications there because we didn't think Carthage was going to attack. And this is what this is for. And this fort will hold. So we're already in trouble. found one of their armies. Already zero. Thanks to our siege engineering abilities. Lots of infantry. They've probably been ignoring their garrisons for a while. We will have backup soon. kind of need the money for the war effort. I'll take the popularity hit, but I will regain my popularity during the course of the war when we get into great battles that we shall join. need is just control this, then control the coast. Mm -hmm. Oh, Danny is already in our doorstep. Once you get that fort down, deal with them. Dislodge these pirates by force if necessary. Didn't know we still have pirates in Gadaria. It will hurt our taxes, but it gets my popularity. This is what that matters here. Every gain is fucking league gain. Still researching my lineage as a way of oh, taking my time. And hopefully, I find something interesting in our bloodline. Come on, get moving. Get moving, Antigonus. All right, you Punic man. Go get them. Do whatever you can to stop them. And it seems they probably committed most of their armies to this front. Well, it looks like it's up to the Iberian to dislodge them once we get this fort down. This is their best general, the clan chief. No, no, not him. That's Togodumnus, Lusitania, Celto-Iberian. Dispatch them. Because knowing that they're going to terrorize the country and the city.
which one would think we should have built a fort there, but who has time for such things? So once they're dealt with, then, then get this down, or just go take the long way around, which we can, because this is very open country, with not a lot of fortifications. Well, meanwhile, uh, but fortunately our North African Holdings is going to, yeah. But over time we'll have experience. Now they have already, oh no, no, you got to confuse with Tartessios, Tartessia. need to take down three forts once we get rid of them. They've enslaved most of the people. I'll just let them run. We have to assist them. Get them out of our country. You asked for it. Level 9, level 10. This shall be a good fight as they are outclassed because we have a higher quality than theirs. And this is the army with the most elephants. Slow down a bit. And we have the discipline, so they will hit them hard. We took very little casualties. Well done. This is what having the honor guard is for. Didn't even stand a chance. them retake that fort. We just have to keep them away. We have most of the control of the province that we desire. And let the allies will deal with this front while we'll send probably just at least one army to control the other forts. So that way it'll be Easing the pressure for our Iber for our Iberian man. Easy for me to say. Coming in. Now it's your turn, even though you're originally the support group army. But you'll do it. Markomania, again. They destroyed another holy site. Annihilated their army.
Our objective is fully under our control. Okay. Antigonos, make your way south. You're, you will soon no longer have any supply issues. We're gonna try to take these forts and ease the pressure. Ease the burden. And also potentially take this fort so it'll be off of our backs. Knowing that it needs food. This is a very fragile territory. I want you to drive this army out and make your way to there and then that fort and that fort. And don't forget the last one there. Which is going to be the holdout that they'll have to deal with. We'll stay on, I'll stay on this front. And knowing this wide open country, we're going to try to hunt down one of their armies. Knowing that they're on retreat. And we're going to go hunting. Didn't you hear what I said? You are ordered to take the fort. Wipe out any stragglers. Oh, deception. Got us good. A bit of hit. Now just head to there. Supply is very good. And deal with anyone that stands in your way. Actually, the large army's over there. Want my shot of glory for this. Be careful, Antigonos. You don't know who the heck you're dealing with over there. Just take your time marching. I'm still researching my lineage, but... I'll just go for the one that gives me more legitimacy. But as for the North African situation, unfortunately, well, they'll, they'll occupy some of the territories, but I think they're more interested in um, Mauritania, which, based on those numbers, we will lose our North African ally and lose access to the... No, we don't. Elephants live here. Mm-hmm. If only we were to send more slaves to... to this area. I mean, we can make it happen. Just a minor hit. We have a slave estate so more slaves can move over there and get more elephants out of it in the future. So, do not worry, we won't lose elephants. We won't lose elephants. Okay, just wherever they're going, hunt them down. Right to our destiny. Get going, get moving. And slow down. Your siege will begin. If we could take this fort, then... Well, I don't think it'll fall under that zone of control because it's on the other side, as far as we're concerned. No, no, they're not. So, once you get this fort, then we'll take them down, we'll take out their capital, and we'll have the Sutter army after they take down this fort to go this way. We'll take up a lot of their food, not to mention when we occupy this area. 
Then they're out of the war. Oh, Antigonus, whoa, what are you... Antigonus, you madman, even though they're in low morale. Whereas you are in good morale, despite your lack of, of skill. Well, Antigonus, for a long time they say you are the future. Well, time for you to prove yourself. Really, they're familiar with the phalanx. No, that's from our scorpion. Ah. Well, it's actually he's the one that got the glory. This Kaluvian comedic. <laughs> we took out their entire army. <laughs> All their cohorts, gone. And we got their best general. Stole my valor. All because of him, not Antigonus. That man. That man. 190. Keep that well in mind. So keep going as you are. Son is born, and he's the new heir. Not naming it after my father, though, um, because Gorkibos was a tyrant in every sense of the word. He executed people, and I, and I originally wanted to, I had originally planned that my son was going to be named Memnon, but I now, that name is becoming overused, which is like, it's like, okay, it's like when somebody needs Memnon, it's like, oh, you're, you're not a Memnon. Which Memnon are you? No, no, we don't want to avoid that confusion. We're going to go with a name that is hardly common in the Greek world, at least in our part of the Greek world. And, and that name I'm going to go with is, uh, hold on. Hang on. Uh, just give me a moment. Okay, sorry about that. I had to fix a little thing. Use caps lock. Don't hold shift P. That pops up a little thing that relates to the recording thing. Anyways. Parmenion. Yes. I'm going to go with Parmenion because we don't typically see that name around here. So finally, something totally original. Maybe not original to the Macedonians when they remember a certain Parmenion. But around here, in the Pokemon League, that's a name. So, Parmenion Xenophon. That boy is the future. No need to favor you anymore. I don't care what you're up to. All I care about is that I want to look you up every once in a while until I finally impregnated you. So, I took you four years. As I'm 35, I've got a lot of good years. I'm going to keep an eye on that boy. Parmenion will be a great future great king tyrant whatever you want to call him so may you grow to be strong and wise parmenion but the war continues well in this case we will help you with the siege While we get this fort down, and then after that's taken down, then we'll go over there and why not? Yeah, we took out half of their cohorts. So they're in a rebuilding stage. That's easy. Now head to this. What's wrong? Get going. What's stopping you?
I fear the worst from the Did I took their objective? What happened? Did they get what they wanted? Or did Cartage call off the war? Where is the peace? They did have a truce. But well, did they take the territory they wanted? Mauritania? No. What the heck was that about? Maybe they couldn't get to there because of this dislodged location, so they had to be forced to um, go for white peace. Okay. Well, at least we could put our full focus to this front now. We got the eastern front secured, now we're securing the southern front. That'll get them off our backs. Now head this way. It's easier to see this because of this color, it's kind of hard to see. Because of similar colors between us and Folky and Lee, the, the shades of blue or cyan. Take it Hey! I knew you were a pretender, but they all support Antigonus. Oh, I wish you ill for this, Antigonus. I mean, we got the fort, but not this one. Do I have to do everything by myself? Damn that man. Are many on Israel there, not you and The ongoing war is taking up most of the attention of Xenophon as he leads our armies to a noble victory. No kidding. While the Vokian League does have bureaucratic momentum, there are many issues that await the capable hands of the legitimate monarch. In absence of the tyrant, Consort Nysa has taken some of his responsibilities and is doing our best to address the most pressing concerns. Commendable. So thank you to more loyalty and she's gained more prominence. As long as Xenophon remains either a prisoner or a general while at war, she will attempt to assist our country. I did marry the right woman. After all. Go for this next. Neglected hub. The consort has decided to put her considerable administrative experience to a good use with a scheme designed to reassure the disgruntled cities in Indesia. Um, Indesia. Um, the city of Emporion is particularly vocal in its concerns, arguing that it has been repeatedly ignored and passed in favor of the capital and other provinces. With the tired indisposed, the consort has drawn up a plan to fund the expansion of Emporion to ensure its future prosperity and assure the locals that the ancient rights and importance of their municipality will not be dulled by time or ill fortune. By all means. Of course. We plan on making that city the future holy site for Apollo. Our god of war. Okay, one more, then take the rest of the uh, provinces. In our way, huh? Well, it's no problem for Kalitabal. 
take that down. And don't forget Olisipo. Tegonos is going to go out to get his own shot of glory. The charisma and diplomatic savviness of consort uh, is well known in courtly circles. It is thus little wonder she's made reassuring Vulcan foreign subjects her priority. Hemeroscopion has been a main focus as Archon Nicocles is arguably our most important subject with the concerns about the absence of Xenophon from the helm of the Vulcan League. She has planned a lavish diplomatic delegation to assure their concerns and reassure them that Vulcan League is in capable hands. Such a gesture should encourage a wider ranging improvement in the assessment of Vulcan reliability. Bit pricey, but I'll take that one too, by all means. And the that Croton and our tributary will like us a bit more. Especially you, because we plan on integrating you, because we need your say. This is going to be your last war. Yes, please. Almost there. At least we have food reserves now, because we control most of Bestitania. Attack the pirates. Xenovan, where well, we're losing favor to local Pavich, has decided to give in its demands. After a year of preparation, he's finally attacked. His virus cannot agree. However, well, whether the best attack by land or by sea. Go the overland route. It gives us more morale boost for our armies. I will take down one more fort, and then we'll go to the front. Because I'm not going to let my general steal my glory. Let Antigonos do the fighting. See what happens to him. <laughs> because I hope he gets himself into trouble. Because he's a pretender and he needs to get killed. Or something else. I mean, we're barely under that risk. As the tyranny is slowly but surely going away. Don't forget to bribe him in the future, because I'm going to need him, you know, loyal. But, if we do get more money in the future, well, be sure far in the future to save up money for the... What happened to you? Bad treatment? Yeah. Memnon probably botched it. At least didn't botch it for my wife. We know that a lot of pretenders support... But who supports Parmenion? Me, and of course, my Iberian friend. But why not you? Who do you stand? Maybe you just have to wait till the child grows up. And when he's an adult, and then people will look at him more positively. Okay, once I get this fort down and take his capital, occupy all of it. Tegonos is... Oh, of course, he's accompanied by the Gaul. Gonna make him feel good about himself. No effectiveness. One more to go. And that's the capital. So in the zone of control, it should be ours. Yes, we'll get them out of the war, and, and the first thing to do is we'll spend our money to build a city of Elisabeth. Yes. 
I don't do. Of course, it may be a slightly isolated province, but as long as we have connection to the sea, we should be all right. All right do we have you under our control again? No, still disloyal. He'll always be disloyal. He's going to starve this army out if he keeps it up. Unless he gets back to friendly territory. Where is that madman going? Here's your other shot of glory for the Iberian. The Admiral's dead. One new one in the future, since we're not using the Navy at the moment. I'm gonna be a little bit jealous for my friend. The Phalanx shall defeat them. Especially here, the army with the most elephants. Stay there. While Antigonos is doing Antigonos things. Take your time. If I was to build a fort in a future conflict in Iberia, I would build it here. And don't forget all this I'll build a fort there as well. This garrison should fall. Yes. Got the coast. For glory. Get to them as fast as we can. Alright, they're gonna be out of the war very soon. Pit killing official. This Kandar Tejadar, trusted advisor, Apandros Spartacid, has been siphoning funds from our treasury into his own pocket for some time. A disappearance of monies collected from across the Fokian League eventually roused suspicions which combined with Eyebrow raising extravagance, such as extremely firing statues of a Pandros of being erected, cannot be written off as a mere coincidence. Abuses of this kind surely must not be tolerated. Unless the entire state apparatus becomes a charade for a personally enriching vain aristocrats. A specific punishment is, however, up to date. Oh dear, you want corruption? No. Let me see. I will imprison him. His stolen goods are forfeit. So is his job. He's corrupt. Very corrupt. I will get a bit of tyranny for this as if, you know, it's the worst thing in the world. But hey, take the lesser tyranny option, like the trial. The only real punishment will deter him best. Okay. Put a Spartacus in. Need another. Old man Cassandros, we'll put you in. But do not worry. They'll come back around. Even though this loyalty inspired is a bit troublesome. I mean, we were doing so well. But save the money for the city, remember. Now you're gonna starve that army out. What's going on over in Greece? Killing all these, you're know, killing. They're sacking all the temples of the gods. Have they gone mad? Hmm. 
needs to be coastal territory. Okay. I guess they will get away with it then, of their existence, so they'll be just to be reduced as a city-state at the end of it. So Alpidania is now fallen to irrelevancy. Eventually get swallowed up by bigger powers or something along those lines. But we got the real objective. So they're out of the war for now. Now we must have to have a governor of uh, Lusitania. Which... Yeah, the governor of that whole region. Olesepona. That's the Greek name that we gave it. And it shall be a city. Now, the war continues. Yeah, a city-state for now, along with Celticia. It's going to be left of them. But it ain't over yet. I want to fight at least one battle, and then we will, um... Benefactor, weak will... Okay, that's just going to be. Slaves will be happy among them. Defense will be lowered under him. Commerce will be up under him. And under him, more civilization. I think we found our man for the job, even though he's only a minor, minor character. Tardulians. Westernmost Iberian group. Colonize him. Yes, that area is going to be a colony. That's where we're sending off the Masalian populations. Okay. The arrival of Masalian settlers has hardly endeared a local population to us, but a foundation of a colony in this area is without a doubt the best way to extort control here in the long run. Soon, even the local Turtlean um, inhabitants will see. How our city will prosper and surpass any previous settlements that may have had in Sarah before the land was confiscated. This is for the best. Already a few Massalian populations have moved in. They're mainly Druidic around here. So I'll take that. That was our real objective. Yes, even a small battle is enough for me to hold a triumph. Just wait. There they are. Because I want to face another good army before Antigonus or anyone else steal my glory. I'll call off the war very soon. Because I'm not interested in expanding to this region, just only in the south and the east. Unite the coast and take a bit of it. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I know we're outnumbered, but not terribly worried. Not coming out. 
more will be coming. So, this is the battle where we'll end the war and I will hold a turn for myself as soon as it's all over. losing morale because I'm not the best skilled general in the world but uh, it's something I have to prove. Now they got an even worse general. I know we're outnumbered but we will beat them. Still holding on. There goes the chariots. You idiot! But none of us, we were victorious. But you stole my victory. But, don't care, I'm still gonna be popular after we hold a, a triumph after this great victory. So that is where we shall end the war. Want the coast, and if there's anything else, then I'll be sure to find a way. And I will soon deal with the internal problems. It's going to take a few years for this city under construction. Oh, by the way, since we acquired that, what is our naval range now? I mean, enough to, you know, cause a bit of trouble. But do not go beyond there, otherwise the ships would be lost. Maybe that area around there should be our next area to conquer. Just in the future. Okay. So. That's Titania is what we wanted. And this was the objective of the war, so I guess we'll have to take that. But do not forget down there. So yeah, this would unite the rest of the coast. And a bit of Opadania too, because of the re relevance of the region that we control. So this is to finally unite the coastal provinces. And uh, we need to liberate some nations to make them weaken further. I mean, I'd be happy to take this token. There's a lot of good resources there. And finally unite the coastal provinces. What else? Give me a big one to liberate them off of. Okay, more. Yeah, just hit him in the center. Oh, that'll be strangely divided. Yeah, they're no longer a major power anymore. And that too. So we have basically fractured this um, Celto-Iberian, a uh, great power of Central Iberia. And what to do with the smaller states? Well, perhaps we can make them tributaries. <laughs> because, you know... We're going to be at the point where we'll just start establishing colonies. Like how we're colonizing this area of Elisabona now. And why we have interest in expanding there is to establish colonies, trading colonies. And the surrounding tribes will have no choice but to pay tribute to us. Yes, that's the idea.
make these guys a travel vassal to us as well well sure because <laughs> travel vassal when you have them it does not take up the diplomatic slot but I'll show you why and yes that's a big aggressive expense which will be 20 and we will have a good long rest as we will be dealing with internal problems mainly so there's our terms now they have weakened themselves into be a, just a regional power boy they starve their provinces out we sure liberated the heck out of this place and we have them as a tribal vassal. Now what that is, gentlemen, is tribal vassal will pay manpower to us. We'll protect them if they're attacked and is limited by Fokin League regarding diplomacy. The Fokin League under having them is national tribes of happiness up and in return we give them more civilization so that one day they may become either a democratic republic or an autocratic monarchy. Democratic Republic. Thought you would be more happy that would liberate you. But, hmm. But the aggressive expansion is extremely high, so it's best. Well, we're going to be in destabilizing times. Just get rid of the tyranny and all that, and we should be all right. Just focus on city building. Antigonus goes wherever the heck he wants. While I will return to the post in, in Zacanthia. While our two armies, well, they'll be stationed here. As long as they don't take up too much of the food. We'll keep that fort... Um, And since we're bordered with them, I guess we'll keep that, but this doesn't need. This we don't need. We'll put up another fort once we build this city. But don't worry, we'll come pick you up by ship once we're done with all of this. A confident man. And he's young. The Corsican. I think we found our replacement to Antigonus once he's dealt with. Inflammation, cancer. Yeah, his health is going to be really deteriorating. As long as he doesn't get the proper treatments. But we have other matters to tend to. And yes, this further increased the invention due to this amount of expansion. Grand Trump. That reminds me. And also got to switch to appeasing stance to to lower the aggressive faction faster, and people will look at us more positively, especially you, which I said before. I'm going to start integrating. That was your last war. So by 671, it'll be under our control, and we will have that city and more Massalians. Yeah, once that aggressive expansion starts going away, then I'm going to start making the smaller surrounding countries to become either tributaries or tribal vassals. Man, it's scattered with fortresses here. Okay. Don't need that. This does not. Neither is this. Or that one either. I mean, they're gonna be isolated.
escape that because that has a city. Well, that with Antigonos going rogue, um. So as for this navy, we'll put this man up here. Stick with me, alright? Need you to get rid of these pirates and go pick up our soldiers. Just get the fleet maintenance up, fight off the pirates, and then um, get our boys home. Because I'm going to need one of them to, um, well, start building the road from... Uh, from Carchedon to Tartessos. But I'll tell you what fort I'm gonna build. This thing. It's just mainly farmland. Unless you want to build a city there. Again, I don't have political influence for anything right now, at the moment. Don't forget to... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well... At least I have my air. Oh, you want revenge, huh? Good luck with that. I should have remembered in the future. Next place, um, Galicia. Galicia. That'll be the next place to conquer, should we expand elsewhere. But now, Antigonus, that troublemaker, is finally gonna get his just due. Trade, trade, trade. No middle power Iberian or Celto Iberian tribe is going to attack us ever again with that kind of strength that they have now. And we later made them reduced. But nonetheless, I'm very popular. And I can't hold a triumph because I don't have enough political influence because we already spent it away. Now, civil war will start because of him. Go pick him up. The ship of State. The renowned philosopher, um, Zofran, um, Aglid. You sure about that? Believes the world would never be free of its evils until the kings and princes of this world have the spirit and power of philosophy. The ship of State must be captained only by men of wisdom, benevolence, and authority. He's identified Xenophon as the one with the potential to learn the true virtues of a ruler under a diligent tutelage. I could tell him to get the hell out of there and go to Aracosia. That far away. Compared to him, he's a Stratoclid, but he's loyal. Seven zeal versus seven. 
your statesmanship. 48 versus 44. I wouldn't do that. I don't want to piss off that family. Because. Look, we all keep it even here. So, just just tell them to get out of here. Go to Ericosia. Now I'm well liked by all. And yet the threat of civil war still looms. And yes, he's the pretender. At least we've got a few more people on our side I will support him instead of Antigonus. But the problem is, there's too many people that support him. And his popularity during wartime further helps it. Guess we have no choice but to start bribing for once. Or just pay him big money. That'll get the loyalty definitely all the way up. No, wait. He's dying out. Just wait it out a bit. Don't worry about the manpower. We're good. Send us some money for our beloved Memnon. There's room for both. It's just we need all the armies in the mainland. In Iberia. Southern Iberia. In, uh, what's that region called? Betes. Betes. Betek. <laughs> Complicated. Have a habit with the CS. The guy with the most power base is going to be dying out soon. Don't forget about him. Because I need him to tutor my heir. Or just replace him with a newer one. And someone young. And loyal. Over time. Triumph? I mean, look, I'm already popular, but this is just to get me a trait. So I will take myself off of command for, for about a year from now. Didn't get a nickname? I am the Conqueror. Traction is there. And, and as Commander of Boat, salt ability will be up, and subjects will like us a bit more. As I am, you know, still depressed, which I'll eventually get over that one day. It's got one charisma so far. Haven't impregnated her again. I guess it'll be just be Parminion, and one child is troublesome enough. You need a little more, so we can get rid of all the other pretenders. I wonder how much I'm paying them. It's fine. Good. Okay. Eek. Civil war prevented once again. Barely out of that threshold as we're lowering the tyranny. And do not succumb to temptation to do anything tyrannical. As we're now switching our focus of 
lowering the aggressive expansion and save up the political influence to put a claim of there. Antigonos! The army of Antigonos, one of the finest in all the Fokian League. Nonetheless, he issued a demand for additional soldiers, paid for and equipped from our own coffers. Recent rumors have portrayed Antigonos in less than favorable light. I should begin to wonder where his loyalty is true today. Could he be planning something? Yes! He wants my throne! We don't deal in demands. You hate us enough. We will get rid of you one day. And putting him on trial is not a good idea. That would be civil war immediately. You don't need to solve all your problems with trials. That's also part of the reason why I'm against corruption. Political influence. But cannot wait for this to us to get this selective immunity. That monthly corruption can go away very slowly. I will pick up this and this, and that is it. What are we importing is a real question. What does it need to surplus out? Does anybody have? Yeah, I was looking for a wild game. Archer's Discipline. You know we have a lot of archers in this army. And I know there's a bit of starvation around the... Well, not starving, it's just... Food capacity is lowered. That's the reason why I've been sending, uh... Massalians out of there to go live somewhere else. And we have a year until this new city is founded. See, back to the way we were. Hey! Come on, get back here. Security remembered all of you. Just need your land here, and, and one of you is going to start building roads. And be sure to remember. Well, we got rid of the pirates there and there. But once we come up there, I'll be sure to get rid of those two as well. Yeah. Head the car head on. And get to work. Now our ships can do more damage, which in actuality we want to um, get the companion cavalry next. Citizens of Altava. A group of citizens from Mauritania appeared in the in Tepede, looking for new homes. They've apparently not only been allowed to leave Mauritania, but they've been sent with the best wishes from their monarch 
as an as second Masina to a ruler Zanavan. The small meaning gesture should not go unnoticed as they clearly try to bring the best try their best to bring our two nations closer. We will ever be closer. The old king. Marin Megalith. Again, if you don't like it here, you can leave. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I was thinking about it, it's like, hey, you should be a tributary. I plan on making any small tribe around Iberia to be tributaries. Since we've become so expansive, and we know where our ambitions lie now, and we will soon complete our mission to get this city built. And get that court tutor on our side, or otherwise I'm gonna, you know. Well, there's always the friend option. The way to get him back on our side. Okay. Get to work from Carcadon to Tartessos. Ideally, I would prefer the road along the coast. So, all the way to Malacca. Then to the city. Through Menace to Lemon. And then into Tartessos. That's the ideal route. And also, maybe the road will branch off from there and go to that city as well. Should be another test. Pirates Ahoy! A messenger sent by Eumenes uh, from Menace to Lemon. A fleet of pirates has attacked the port, and it does not look like they're going to let up anytime soon. He's asking for aid immediately and putting an end to this. Some or other virus suggested of making a more permanent change to our laws to make sure this problem will not resurface in a couple of years. Oh, that's going to put us in negative political influence. Lose 10,000? Or have pirate unrest. <sighs> you can deal with it. We're not at war right now. We're not going to be at war any time soon because of this aggressive expansion is too high. So I'll take the hit. Pays 50 while we make 32 a month. Even though we have our fleet maintenance up. Could make a little more. Since we're not transporting anybody right now. While Antigonos is who knows where. In fact, where is his army? All the way back there. If I want to have a little quick war, remember we have a claim on them. <laughs> Our former ally from long ago. Get rid of them and more alluvian subjects live under us. Alright, they're coming to the city of Olisabana. Our extension of new privileges and investments into local infrastructure has seen Olisabana grow from relative humility to a true um, Tordalian city. Soon to be Massalian. While some, it still has some way to go before we can rival the great cities of our age. The past two years have ushered in a new era of growth and urbanization in this territory. These are the best of times, and it will produce cloth here, re replacing fish. And this is a colony, so it's going to have more migration attraction and more population assimilation. Well, we can speed up the process. Remember your average basic needs of the city. Two theaters. A forum. A tax office. Temple. And lastly, fortress. These are your basic needs. Once that fortress is built, get rid of this one.
14 League Old Osipono, which has city. Has to be Hellenistic, has a temple. Yeah, we're trying to get it to be Massalian. It's gonna take a while. And then after that, consider this mission complete for this series, finally. Oh, that's too much. Not interested. Plus, we're saving our money for the road building. Many on to be more charismatic. Guess we won't have a second child anytime soon. At least don't yet. Okay. I've no choice but to compromise. I'm gonna befriend you, despite the fact that you are dying out. But there's an excuse of why I'm gonna do this to you. I need a replacement, because he's dying out. It's better to befriend him than to you know, because I feel that even though he's a fellow Zonovid, I just feel that he doesn't have the charisma to have what it takes. Here's the money. We'll end this episode very soon. Just hurry up with the road. And I'll give him some money. The head of the Ophelid family is dead. Ah, oh, don't worry about him. And here's some more money. There, got you on our side. Three years old, and he's only gone for charisma, at least for now. So you have to have at least one royal offspring between the age of 12 and 16. That's how you choose a new ambition for a prince princess. That's why I had to get him on our side. But in actuality, look for potential replacements. Likely him. And he also, so yes oversees the education of people in general. Yes, I had to befriend you as a way of getting you out of here. So we can put the other um, Xanophid with slightly better charisma, but bad statesmanship, but I think it'll improve over time. And he's going to be very loyal. Yeah. But once Antigonos passes... Well, he won't be much of a problem anymore. Just finish that road, and then we'll end the episode here. We've really become a trading empire. One would imagine, yeah, we somehow build a straight over it, build a bridge over it. Your job is done. All right. I totally forgot about this city. Only because we didn't have the money. As this city continues to be built of its buildings, 100% legitimate, we've done well on the episode. So, next time, where do we go from here? Parmenion is already becoming a bit of, bit of a charismatic boy for our only son and heir, at least for now. Until there might be time to have another child, uh, I predict. So, Parmenion is the future. And we hope you see us in the future for our next episode of Where Do We Go From Here. But until then, so long for now.